then, okay, here's where we're at. We just washed her hair out with the Unite Smoothing Shampoo and Conditioner. And I'm just going through her hair little by little and doing a fine tune checking of this. So here is the uh, point A, like I said. There it is wet. You can see it stretches and it's quite long when it's wet. And I am cutting it on an angle down to the bottom. I'll take out half of that hair. I'm just checking it now. The cut is finished, but I'm just checking it and making sure everything is fine-tuned. There's the angle there, half of the head. I always separate out the half front from the back because you've got half the hair. You don't have hair that comes down here like you do in the back and the neck area. So I always separate that out to ensure that we've got a, a perfect matching guide point with your back hair so that it moves together here. I'm going around and checking everything to make sure we've got a really nice oval that comes up to our A point at the bang. Everything looks good. I'm doing vertical partings, just fine tuning it. Yeah. And once I've done my vertical check work from my dry cutting, I go through this haircut, the whole thing, and I horizontally check with all my work, whether I'm doing short hair or long hair or men's haircuts. After I've done that, I'm going to come back through here and now horizontally check it. Take the back section, check it from the bottom, hold it in a ponytail, grabbing all that hair. I call this ponytail checking, pulling all that hair out, looking for any little points that might need to be coming off. Pull that hair straight out, check it on a horizontal, looking for any little points that may jump out, moving up the head up to our A point guide, guideline. Looks good. In this area, I do it just a little different. I do the ponytail checking, over directing it because she doesn't have any hair here, so I have to over direct it to keep the length. Cut that little bit off there. Same on this side. Splitting half of that. There's a long point right there I'll take out. Now, when the hair is finished and you put your product in, I'm going to be using Unite's Boing and it has a great deal of Domethicone in it. Domethicone, I really like that chemical that's been created for curly hair. It flattens out the cuticle and it um, makes the curls cling together and give a soft curl versus a crunchy curl. Wherever the hair is most frizzy, and I see it all the time in my curlies, is right around that hairline. I come in and flatten that out with product first. And I'm quite generous with product. I, I, like, I like to put it in there. Because curly hairs, as you know, if you're curly, you've got to put the product in. Otherwise, you'll just have a big frizzy mess. So I brush that in, working that through the hair, and I'm 
pushing that all through to the end. And I'm going to be combining or cocktailing my curl cream with a stick product. So the stick product I'm going to use with her today is the scrunch gel. The scrunch gel mousse by Unite. And by the two, cocktailing together will give her really nice volume, really nice curls. And I will diffuse this dry until it's bone dry. Now keep in mind, if you are a diffuser person, you don't want to keep touching your curls because when you put a product in the hair and you run it through, the, the hair will cling together in its biggest form with your first application of product. Once you have got that done, you get one really nice big curl. You'll add your stick product to it, and pretty much you want to leave the, leave the curls alone at that point. When you diffuse, you want to just lift and fold it till it's almost all the way bone dry, then come in and lock it with your squeezing. Because the more you touch the curl, the more they break. One now becomes three, and then three now becomes ten. So in that regard, less is more. By the time I'm done and you see this finished, you'll see what I mean. So, give it back.